What's going on guys? In this video I want to talk about uh, another challenge I did for about a week out of just pure curiosity. What I did was one minute of push-ups every day for seven days to see if it had any impact on my chest. Primarily size and strength because that's not so much an endurance thing. If I was going for endurance that would be a higher rep scale, uh, more like 100 push-ups a day. That's something I did previously and we'll talk about that too. Now when I say one minute push-ups, here's what I mean. What I did was I did a maximum of 10 push-ups at a very slow tempo, about five or six seconds per push-up. This hits just about a minute in tempo work. So that's what I mean when I say I did one minute push-ups. So like I said, I previously did 100 push-ups a day um, and I had a friend, another friend who did 100 push-ups for a year. And I'll put a card up to the video that I did explaining why doing 100 push-ups a day, guys, will not give you anything with regard to uh, size or strength. Now, let me, let me pull that back. Let me walk that back a little bit. It's not that it won't give you anything. But once you go past a certain point, it's diminishing returns. You just become really, really good at the exercise itself, which are push-ups. So doing 100 push-ups a day, you just become very, very good at push-ups. You can only get so big. You can only get so strong doing push-ups. Now, on the other side, um, I do a lot of tempo work because I don't lift heavy anymore. So I go with a moderate weight and then I do that at a very slow tempo. That's usually what I do to uh, get mass or even strength. So I thought, let me go ahead and apply that to push-ups, 10 push-ups, I could sneak those in every day and let me see how this goes. The first day, shockingly, I guess because I had been doing standard tempo or pretty fast push-ups, I actually had to stop at eight push-ups doing them slow and controlled. My tempo was like five, like I said, five or six seconds. So it's one, two, three, I would hold at the bottom, four, five, six. And you're taxing your muscles a little bit more while doing tempo work. And this is why people feel that it does help with the size and strength. So by the second day, I was already able to do 10. So it wasn't hard to like get up to 10. And then it was just maintaining it for the remaining seven days. So this is gonna be a short video because what did I gain? This is pretty easy to go over. Doing this for seven days, again, my intention was to see what it did for size and what it did for strength. It's not gonna help my endurance. Maybe static muscle endurance, if I was having to hold something for a little bit longer, but ultimately I kind of just pulled that out of the equation. So as far as strength goes, I got stronger. Now I will admit during the seven days, I did hit a chest workout one time, and that was benching and some dumbbells. So. I usually hit chest at least twice a week, while during this challenge, I only did it once. So there was that that will add to the results, which if you work out, I'm pretty sure you're gonna hit chest at least once a week. For strength, um, I did feel stronger. I don't lift heavy, guys, I've said that before. If I go to a certain weight, a moderate weight, I either do tempo work or I do high volume, lots of reps. My days of lifting heavy, those are gone. And I'm okay with that, I actually prefer lifting this way. So I did see some improvements in strength. Not huge, but a little bit. It did, as an accessory, doing these push-ups on the side, it, just, it did help at least stabilize my strength, but I feel it pushed it a little bit when I did my one chest day, I did feel a little bit extra. I got stuck on the bench a couple times and I was able to push those reps out. But no massive leaps in strength. For size, this is where I saw the most. Now. I said this in the 100 push-up video, you can only go so far. When I started this at the beginning, I measured my chest and it was 42 inches. At the end of the seven days, I gained one inch on my chest, it was 43 inches. Out of curiosity, I had other videos and stuff so I didn't make this video right away. So I had continued this uh, push-up challenge on through the following week, but I was inconsistent. I think the following week I maybe did five days instead of another full seven. That said, I did gain another half inch. The week after that, which is this week, I'm a few days in and I'm in a different push-up, I'm doing different push-up variations right now. And I'm actually doing higher reps though, so I am doing 30 reps. And between that second week and this current, and the half of this third week, I've only gained a half an inch on my chest. So I'm now at 43 and a half inches on my chest. And I think it's gonna top out at that. With only doing push-ups, again, you're only gonna get so big to gain any more size from there, you would definitely need progressive overload. I think that is mainly because it was a new type of stimulus. Again, tempo work, doing a strength exercise for an entire minute, 
Just, it was just a different stimulus from what I was doing before, so your body reacts to that. Positively, of course, but it eventually catches up and gets used to what you're doing. And then you have to change the stimulus again. So, I suggest, or I will be, kind of just throwing this into my routine intermittently as I change things up regularly. Obviously, there's some benefit to it, but continuing to do it consistently forever, I think it's just like the 100 push-ups where you'll just get really good at doing push-ups. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please be sure to like and subscribe. That way we will keep this thing going and I will see you guys in the next video.